You are now at the round table with Lenny S. Maya the Brazilian Air and Big Life. Okay, everybody, on with the show. Take a seat and tune in. This is Neo, a.k.a. The Gentleman, and I'm chilling at the round table with Lenny S., Maya the B., and Big Light here on Rock Me TV. Don't shrink that screen. Peace out, y'all. Yeah. yeah. Once again, the decibel level is very high. We at the round table, and we sitting with the top guests in the world right now. We got uh, Neo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One of the yeah. hottest albums out right now. Definitely. Year of the Gentleman. How'd you come up with the title? Um, the title came from me just basically making, ass- making an assessment of cats in the game. It, ca- it went from making an assessment of cats in the game to just making an assessment of us as men, period. Bunch of I feel, kids out there. You know what? I just, I just feel like, you know, cats, just, it's just time for cats to step their game up a little bit. Right. You know what I mean? You are like just From the, the way we treat and view our women, from the way we treat and view ourselves. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, a cat that uh, iron his shirt before he walk out the house. Exactly. Where he at? You know what I mean? You know what people laugh at me for ironing my clothes? See, and that's the problem. Dead serious. That's the problem. You know what I'm saying? When did it become uncool to be to be clean? You know what I'm saying? When did it become <laughs> uncool to be fresh? That's right, Earth. You know? So we're trying, trying to bring it back. I want to ask trying you something back. about Beyonce, about that irreplaceable. Right, right. She's saying she wrote it. What's the deal with that? Um. Well, technically, well, I wrote the lyrics. She helped with the with the vocal arrangement, and technically, that counts as writing too. Like you get paid for that too. So in that sense, she did write on it. You know, because she helped. You know, she changed stuff around to make it a Beyonce song. But the lyrics, I wrote all the lyrics. And it wasn't no beef between us when she said that because I knew exactly what she meant. It's just the rest of the world right. didn't know. You yeah, know, they so. don't know. I mean, I don't think anybody else, like a consumer, would be like, oh, that's okay. She actually, you know, arranged the melody. Of, right, right, right. You right, know, right, everybody right. else really thought like, oh, my God, why, is, why would anyone even say that they, you know, they wrote something that you wrote? Anyways. But it luck. worked. It was a, a good hit. luck. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I, you know what I want to know about? Because we heard you rap. Ah. And on the a Millie beat with and a whole bunch of other people. Yeah, yeah. But it seemed crazy. like you were like talking to some people in general. Like in specific, I mean. Was there anybody uh nah. Chris well, Brown tell us, was in the nah. target? No, nah, no, nah, real talk. No, Chris for one, Chris, that's my little brother. I ain't got okay. no beef for Chris whatsoever. Like that's you know, for real, that's my little brother. We came right. out around the same time. You know, I was there, I remember sitting in front of Sony Studios with this dude talking about what we was gonna do when we made it. You know what I mean? So right. that's that's, that's my right. little brother. No beef with him at all. I wasn't really talking to nobody. I just looked at it like everybody else got on the track and started talking about how much money they had. So I'm like, hold on, I got some money too. Exactly. <laughs> speaking of talk about rec- how much money I got. Neil, speaking of records like Millie, because I noticed you an R and B pop star. You done made it, you done sold millions of records. Why do you feel I noticed that like you always do real hot street records, whether it was the Ghostface, Plies, Remy Ma, now you got this Jada Kiss record out. What makes you feel when you know some cats feel they probably don't have to what makes you go back and do those records well because the street is who was riding with me from the get-go you know what i'm saying the street was there before all the 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 the, the fame and you know all of that right so you don't just because you get out of the hood that don't mean you leave the hood behind like right. the hood roll for you before anybody right. so you know so neil what is the uh the one thing that you miss most of being a regular person man um just being regular like i'm the type of dude you know what it, it, when being in the spotlight, you almost got to be fly 24 hours a day, seven right. days a week. Like, I can't get up in the middle of the night and go to, you know, go to the corner store and just grab the closest sweats that's next to me and put them on. Because right. if somebody take a picture of that, it's going to get on the internet and everybody's going to start talking. Right. And it's going to be bad. So I got to, you know, I got to, I got to, that's one thing that I miss. You right. know, and then just, just normal stuff like going to the movies. Like, I can't go to the movies. Like, we got to call the theater and let the manager know I'm coming <laughs> and go in the back. And like, it's just... I what if you just, what if, what if you just you snuck in? Like you just went I've and say nothing. I've you tried. Know. Unfortunately, I wear my hat like this a lot, and people know this much of my face. Yes. So it don't it That's don't work. That's the signature. I swear I done got away, and I be sitting in the theater, and all of a sudden I get that. Right. Can I have your autograph? During the movie? Babe, I'm watching them. Wow. I'm watching. Sign autograph, and then all of us. You do it for one, you gotta do it for everybody. So it just it just becomes a problem. You think What's up? With, my bad. Right. What's yeah. up with you and Chris Brown doing the album together, which everybody would love? What? Doing a record together, man? <laughs> no, a whole just, album. A whole really? album Too together? Much. I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. Did I mean, we, we definitely talked about doing some records together. I don't know about a well, whole Well, you know, album. sometimes some records do lead. Y'all be sitting in that studio. Next thing, some records turn into 10 records. And you never know. And I think it'll be hard for Neil to do like a best of both worlds, like with another rapper or something yeah. like that. That might be hard. You know what? I was thinking about that. Who who would make sense? Do y'all think? Jeezy. Jeezy. Ask me? Jeezy. Fabulous. Fab? No. You said Jeezy? I said Jeezy. I'm like, Fab can't carry it. You need something superstar on your side. Like a real super, superstar. 
Wow. Oh, nasty. Okay. Um, all right. Sorry. Did so, I wait, so real quick, quick before, Neil, you ever see yourself maybe not wanting to put out records anymore and just write? Be more low key and behind the scenes. Nah. Well, I mean, I, I mean, the business is real fickle. You know, so you'll be hot one morning and then that same night you ain't hot no more. That's that's just how it is nowadays. So I'm gonna do this hardest thing as long as people, you know, is willing to listen. You know, and then when that day comes that they don't want to listen no more, I'm gonna fall back, I'm gonna fade into the background and write for everybody else. So you'll still be listening to me. You just won't know it. Yeah. Do you got a place in mind you want to move to when you do that? No, no, not really. No, nope, not really. I might go overseas somewhere. Like right. buy your own island. Yeah, or some I shit? might go to Rome and just just lamp out. You know? That's, That's, not, <laughs> That's the perfect culture to lamp out. Yeah, Neil, we know you're a busy guy. You got a lot of places now. to go. May want to thank you for coming yes, by. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. gentlemen, the album is in stores yeah, right now. Album. Please go get it. Two hundred and fifty thousand copies in one week. Yes, crazy. Do not shrink that screen, y'all. Superstar, superstar. Neil, Neo in the round table. Sounds like a good meal to me. Don't shrink that screen.